I'm Grace LeVarrier, your neighborhood reporter. The Kern County Sheriff's Office has released video footage from the officer involved shooting on March 10th on Beardsley Avenue in Oildale. In it, the suspect is shot by deputies while holding a rifle in the yard. But the video also shows other concerns for deputies at the scene. Officials say the shooting happened just after 1.30 p.m. on March 10th in a video provided by KCSO on their YouTube page. The suspect can be seen holding what appears to be a rifle. Hey, he's grabbing it. We froze the video right before the shooting occurred. Oh. Oh. Officials say a person initially called 911 to report possible domestic violence. Audio from the 911 call on the YouTube video revealed the suspect's wife called in twice. Please help me, please get a cop out here. By the second call, just two minutes after the first. He has a weapon now. Can you somebody please come out? KCSO says deputies knew the suspect was armed and they were already on their way. KCSO says upon arrival, they found an armed suspect in the front yard of a home. Officials say deputies spent 20 minutes attempting to de-escalate the situation, asking the suspect repeatedly to drop the weapon. Put the rifle down! Which KCSO says he did not. The suspect, identified by KCSO as 53-year-old Cole Jackson Hughes, was transported to the hospital for his injuries. KCSO says he died the following day, March 11th. Another concern that surfaced in the video was the presence of numerous civilians who who remained in the area. A map from the video shows a yellow arrow where a civilian stood during the incident. KCSO says the added fear for their safety was a concern for deputies. I saw somebody in the backyard. Black shirt. No, 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 no. Additional suspect in the backyard. Multiple civilians refusing to evacuate the area created a higher level of concern for community safety. <laughs> On April 4th, KCSO says they convened a critical incident review board that determined the use of force in this incident was within department policy. The incident has been forwarded to the DA's office for review. In Oildale, I'm Grace LeVarrier, your neighborhood reporter.